Hello, I'm Mara Veltri, an art history student here at LaSalle, and welcome to Exploring Art. In today's program, we're going to explore the LaSalle University Art Museum. LaSalle is currently the only Philadelphia University to own a permanent display of paintings, drawings, and sculptures that range from the Renaissance to our present time. We're lucky to have this great resource on campus, which is located on the lower level of Omni Hall. The museum has collections from ancient Greece to contemporary artists, including some African and Mesoamerican art as well. The artworks are arranged in various rooms by time period, such as the Renaissance Room, 17th Century Room, the 18th Century Room, and the list goes on. Now we all like works of art for a variety of reasons. Sometimes it's because the colors go with our sofa, or perhaps it reminds you of a good memory from your life. Maybe if you're like me and spend a lot of time studying art, you appreciate the history of that piece. Today, I'm going to talk with LaSalle students, faculty, and staff to find out what their favorite work of art is in LaSalle's Art Museum. To begin our show, I welcome Kennedy Fenton, an art history student, Sheldon Rose, a marketing student, and Isamar Nunez, an education major. Okay, do I? Oh, okay. So you guys want to be on the show if you didn't in, have an interest in art. So tell me what you enjoy about the art and why do you study it? Kennedy? Um, I study art because I enjoy um, learning how people express themselves and how culture and time periods like influence the art that people make. Okay. What about you, Sheldon? Well, for me personally, I loved making art growing up, drawing, painting, uh, just, just creating stuff. So learning history of art and how other artists were thinking was very interesting. Okay. And Isamar? Well, I study art because you get to see um, one of the most beautiful evolutions of how it was in the beginning of time all the way to now. And then at the same time, it gets condensed and then you get to personalize how you want art to be and how you view art to begin with. Do either of you guys plan on going into the education part of art history, or do you plan on just staying in marketing and an education major? Well, uh, I'll probably be in marketing, but I wouldn't be surprised if uh, I do some job in marketing that would broadcast a specific piece of art or some artist on their new work or something. Okay. What about you, Samar? Well. Since I'm an education major, being a teacher does involve being with kids, and it has come across in my head that I will let the kids color at some point and enjoy art. So yeah, you do want to show them different pieces of art. So I'm getting all choked up about this, my passion. Um, yeah, I do want to show kids about art because it is important to express yourself in a way that isn't with words and just whatever is in your mind, you can put it on canvas. Okay. Um, so how are you guys introduced to the art museum and were you surprised we had one at first? Well, I was completely surprised. I just thought like the school would just have art paintings like hung, hung up in the halls. But not uh, a whole museum. I didn't think they'd have a whole museum uh, and, and especially like I didn't even know where it was. Like I found out it was in Albany and I'm just searching for it. Yeah, and it's on the And then I found it. out it was in the basement. I was like, oh, it's actually quite large in here. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay. Kennedy? Um, I came into LaSalle knowing that there was an art museum, but I don't think I visited our art museum until like spring of my freshman year. So. And how'd you know we had one? Um, my cousin had been here, like went here, so. Okay. And Ismar? I actually found out that LaSalle had an art museum at a very young age. Um, we went on a field trip when I was in fifth grade to the LaSalle Art Museum. And of course, I don't remember anything of that, just that I was in LaSalle and it was, we had an art museum. But actually, the first time remembering some of the paintings was in the class when we had to go do projects and activities looking at the paintings. Okay. Yeah. Um, so do you guys have a favorite part about the art museum? Is there a room you guys really enjoy? Uh, I love the Renaissance, and I loved their the first room. Once when you walk in on the left, it changes like from Every, exhibit to exhibit. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. it, and then also the first room also changes like every two months or three or something like that. 
and it's like a different time period or a different works of art that you just usually don't see and it's just portrayed differently I guess like when you walk in like you know there's a difference in that one specific room and Kennedy what about you as an art history student um, I just like the variety that we have like for such a small museum I think it's really nice okay you smart yeah my favorite room is the Renaissance room just because I like because in the Renaissance, what they did was a lot of portraits. And when you look at the portraits, you're like, oh, they're just people. But they're, it, to me, it's like they're characters. Like, you almost get a feel of how it was during that time period. And it's just interesting to see how people were dressed and how they looked and all that stuff. Yeah. OK. So now I'm going to ask you guys about your favorite art piece. Um, Kennedy, what's yours? I like a um, portrait of a woman on a balcony in a blue dress. Um, it's just a really classic piece of art. I think it's really beautiful and it has a lot of the formal elements of art. Um, I like the colors that are used and... Okay. Um, Sheldon? Um, I liked... Parsifus? Parsifical? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I just loved how it was colorful and it's like a Judgment Day type painting, how a king is just looking at an angel and there's just like the heavens looking above it, just staring down. And then yours? I like, it doesn't really have a name, it's called Landscape by Morris Dennis. Um, when you first see it in La Salle, you kind of just pass by it because it's, it's very small. It's not that big at all. So when you look at it, it's just, oh, pretty colors and shapes. But if you actually get to look at it, you see how there's a lot of contrast. And you don't really see those colors. It's almost, there's a contradiction in there that I like a lot. OK. Um, what advice would you guys give to the viewers who may be interested in visiting the museum? And what should they see in it? I think there's a lot to see in the art museum, I think. Especially if it's your first time, you should just like Take your time and make sure you have like time enough to like walk around in each room and see what pieces you like and what pieces you don't like and try and figure out what art style you like the most and maybe it'll make you want to go visit other art museums. Sheldon? Uh, well, I would just, once when you walk in, I would just go to the very first room and then just take it all in, so to speak. Like, taking every detail of a painting and then move on to the next one. And then by the time when you visit every room, you're going to have a couple that you remember the most. Okay. And that would be your favorites. I would say um, be open-minded because <clears throat> there's a lot of different rooms. And also just to um, sit if there is a bench or stand, just to stare and take in all that you're looking at, even if your opinion of it if you don't like it, but it's just you get a chance to look at all these different pieces. So my advice would be just to be open-minded to okay. say. Do you guys think that LaSalle should take more consideration to the museum and like show more students before they get here, like on day one and things like that? Yeah, I think day one would be a really good opportunity to show like incoming students about LaSalle's museum and like open them up to um, the different things LaSalle offers. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, I was already very into art, so when I got on campus and I found out after everything, after already being here, that added on there's also an art museum that I could just go to and look at paintings, that's pretty cool. And that would have actually pushed the school like I would more want to go here. Like it would push me more to come here. Okay. So. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for my last question, um, Philadelphia is rich with art. Is there a display or museum that you enjoy visiting here in Philadelphia? You smart? Um, well, it's not really an art museum, but it's the Philadelphia History Museum. And I was born and raised in Philly, so I'm a real Philly girl. So when I go into that museum, there's a lot of different rooms. So you get a variety of artwork, but you also get a feel of the city you're in. Yeah. I guess, like, I love going to the museum because I love art, but I mean, just looking at all 
like you said, the different varieties, yeah. you get a sense of like what the area is about um, and the history behind Philadelphia. Okay, Kennedy? Um, I like the PMA. I think it's really relaxing and has a really good atmosphere. And I also like all the different murals that are in Philly. I think it sets it apart from like every other city. Okay, all right. Um, I guess I would have to say mine is the PMA as well. Um, I think it has a variety and even this like architecture itself brings a lot to the city and has a lot of history behind it itself. It used to be Fairmont Park, so, okay. Okay, so. Thank you to all of my student guests for being here on Exploring Art. We're going to take a short break and when we return, we'll hear what some of LaSalle's faculty and staff feel are their favorite from our Art Museum. We'll be right back. LaSalle TV. I love that new show, Flip. I, I gotta keep up, so news you can use has to be my favorite. I love LaSalle Sports, so Sports is my favorite TV show. We, we love, love LaSalle, LaSalle TV. I love that new show with the psychology department, Relationships 101. I love Backstage Pass, it's my favorite show. We, we love, love LaSalle, LaSalle TV. TV. Sports Talk Philadelphia. q and I love that show. It's gotta be LaSalle TV news. I love LaSalle TV. Three, two, one, action. You may think a guy would produce, be producing this, but I can too. Anyone can find a cure. Women are being downgraded for their physical ability, but you can be just as strong. Twenty percent of women are engineers, but it doesn't stop there. I'm a tech girl. I'm a tech girl. I am a tech girl. I am a tech girl. Welcome back to Exploring Art. I'm your host, Mara Veltri. In today's program, we've been exploring LaSalle University's Art Museum. In the first half of our program, we heard from some of our students about their favorite works. Now it's time to talk to our faculty and staff about their favorite pieces. Please welcome Professor Joel Garver from the Philosophy Department, Professor Vicki Ketz from the Foreign Language Department, and Miranda Clark Binder the LaSalle University Art Museum's Curator of Education and Public Programs. Okay, so what do you guys enjoy about art? How do you involve it with your students? Um, I enjoy making art and also enjoy sort of the history of art. Um, and I've used it in a number of different classes. I've used it in um, the museum and FYO um, as a way of familiarizing students with some of the resources that the university has. And I've also incorporated it into a number of different philosophy classes. For instance, in the American philosophy class, I had students write about um, an exhibit on World War II era, Depression era prints um, in connection with things we were reading. Okay, Professor Ricky. 
Um, I like a lot of things about art. I think um, it, it, it talks about the emotional experience of the human experience. I also like um, the fact that it also is connected to our history and our social events that are happening. So I think it has a lot of depth and it adds to our experience. Okay, and are you involved with a lot of students as being the curator? So I am. As a museum educator, I'm passionate about art and I always have been and making sure that everyone has access to art. So I'm being in charge of the education program means that I run all of our pre-decay to 12 field trips as well as work with our faculty to find ways for them to incorporate oh, the collection. That's really cool. Um, so how are you guys introduced to the museum at first when you guys first got here? Um, I think my department chair, Michael Curlin at the time, said that it was something I absolutely had to go see. Um, and I think he took me down there and walked me through it and we looked at the different galleries and various pieces and talked about them and talked about the history of the museum and Brother Burke's role in creating the collection in its early days. Okay. I arrived here last year and I saw the banner in Olney Hall and it was one of the first places I went to. I was so excited. That's awesome. And I found my favorite room and I, I had fantasies that I'd have a little bit of free time in the winter and I'd be able to go down there and read and just soak it all up. Okay. And then I found out about the collection um, when I applied for the position, uh, which was assistant curator of education, to start the program from scratch. I'm from Philadelphia and I actually didn't know that there was a museum until that point. Oh, goodness. Um, do you guys also think that LaSalle should focus on like showing the students beforehand before they come here during day one and orientation? Absolutely. It's one of the greatest treasures that the university has and it really should be heralded not just to incoming students and potential students but also to school children and adults throughout the city um, as an invaluable resource for education of um, youth and adults alike. Okay. I agree with Joel and I also think that we should also try to incorporate it more into our classes. Um, I know that there are some of us that do try to do that, but I also think that that's part of like our aesthetic appreciation. Yeah. So I'd like to think that we do a good job of promoting it to our audiences, but of course we could always we could always do better. And I love working with faculty to find ways to incorporate the collection. Okay. So, what are your favorite art museum pieces? Um, one of my favorite pieces is Charles Wells' sculpture of Dorothy Day. Um, it's carved in red oak and it's really a very stunning piece. Um, it expresses her, her face in, in such a sort of determined kind of way. Um, and there's a, you know, you sort of have the hardness of the wood, but then a certain softness. But then there's a strange thing with the eyes that they seem kind of almost as if they were gouged out. Um, and I find that really interesting is wondering what the artist might have been up to with that. And so, you know, it, for me, it um, reminds me of themes from like blind oracles or St. Francis of Assisi who had trouble with his eyes, who also had the same sort of mission um, towards those who are impoverished that Dorothy Day had with her sort of Catholic vision for um, social justice. So the piece resonates with me in a number of different ways. Do you prefer sculptures over paintings? Um, I myself prefer to do paintings and printmaking, and, but I really admire people who do sculpture because I don't work very well myself in three dimensions. Okay. Professor Ricky? Um, my favorite piece is Portrait of an Artist in Her Studio. Um, what first attracted me to that piece, I think, were the colors and the brush strokes, um, but I also like the theme of it. Um, the woman is front and center. It's, for me, f the power of female creation. Um, I also like, and then, you know, you see her more than you see the paintings, so she's the most important piece. And I also like that it also has the postmodern theme of meta art reflected in it, so I like that. So working with the Slough, you know every piece probably, <laughs> so do yes. you have a favorite? This was nearly an impossible question for me. Um, the piece that I chose was Belfield Farm by Anna Peel Sellers. It's one of our newest acquisitions and it became part of our collection just last year in memory of the passing of Brother Daniel Burke, 
the founding director of the art museum. Mm -hmm. And it is a 19th century copy of a painting by Charles Wilson Peale of our farm in the 1800s. And so our campus was Bell Field. And so the houses, the buildings that you see are our National Historic Landmark here on our campus. In the background. Yes. That and so this is our campus in the 1800s, which I thought was really lovely. Do you think that's also something that LaSalle should let students know about the Peel House and the President's House and Definite. that we were a huge part in the Def history? Definitely. I, you know, it is such an important part of the story and I always like to say, you know, Peel was so important to Philadelphia art history and all the cultural institutions try to claim him, but we are one of only two of the places that try to claim him, um, where he actually lived. Yeah. His family also lived in Philosophical Hall. Um, but he lived here on our campus from 1810 to 1826. Oh goodness, that's a lot of information. <laughs> so what advice would you give our viewers who may be interested in visiting the museum? Um, I would recommend that they go and visit it if they have not already and to just find some pieces that stick out to them and just sort of sit with them for a while and to experience the artwork and to um, sort of try to understand what's going on and to um, think about the way in which the artist is expressing whatever it is that they are trying to portray. I would definitely uh, encourage people to visit it more than once because um, usually there's so much in the museum that it's kind of hard to take in all at once. Mm -hmm. And I also think it also um, depends on the person's mood. Sometimes you're attracted more to one room than you are to another and one set of paintings or sculptures. So I would encourage them to come multiple times. Okay. <laughs> I would agree with Dr. Kept about that. It is an intimate museum, and so you could, in theory, see the whole thing in one visit. But to really enjoy it, mm -hmm. I do think that coming back multiple times and also you know, keeping an eye on our special exhibition schedule definitely um, would encourage you to come back over and over to see that space of changing art that our student mentioned. So being the curator, do you guys ever talk about like moving it or expanding it to like a higher level, like rather than the basement? Um, you know, there are long-term ideas about those things. I'm not sure, you know, dreams, wishes, etc. cetera. Mm -hmm. um, nothing specific that I know about. Okay. Okay, so being in Philadelphia, do you guys have a favorite uh, museum or artwork here around, even at LaSalle? I'm a member of the Philadelphia Museum of Art. So am I. Oh. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> I, I like to go there, and that's definitely one place you couldn't go through the whole thing in yeah. one day. Um, and also there's murals, I believe, is it the south side? Where is the murals that are on the sides of the... Everywhere, I Buildings. guess. Yeah. Everywhere. So, our, so Philadelphia has more mur murals than any other city in the U.S. Mm -hmm. with the mural arts program. So there's pretty much anywhere you go in the city, I think there's murals. <laughs> yeah, there's about 3,000, I think, all together. Wow. I, think so. I haven't seen all yet. Yeah. <laughs> and some are by the LaSalle alum, David McShane. Right. So yeah. he does some murals, too. He also teaches here at LaSalle, but he's a mural artist with mural arts as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the murals as well, um, but I also like a lot of the sort of contemporary galleries that have um, ongoing artwork that's being created. Um, First Fridays or sometimes gallery shows. I like the clay studio a lot because I do like sculpture. Um, I have some friends who show things at Ti Tiger Strikes Asteroid um, and some of the other galleries in the city. And I think those are really great places to go to see sort of what's happening now in the artistic world. Do you guys think that First Fridays are a thing that students should start going to? So I was actually going to say First Friday as I think that it's such a fun experience mm -hmm. and it's free food and walking around. Um, and I did my graduate work at University of the Arts. And so First Friday is something that you art students definitely yeah, go do. to all the mm -hmm. time. And I think Absolutely. it would be really nice to hear more LaSalle students talking about First Friday. Yeah. And where's First Fridays located at, usually? So usually, the big stretches in Old City, like along 2nd Street, all of those galleries, it's very easy to sort of hop from gallery to gallery and get free food and papers and meet artists and things like that. Do you have, either of you guys have a favorite, like, First Friday gallery that you like to go to, or does it change up? It depends what's showing. I always like the Clay Studio, as I said, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, 
there are a number of different galleries that have always have interesting art. Definitely. Do you have a favorite gallery, or do you guys so know any So I would say the Clay Studio is a, also a favorite of mine. They have a lot of really amazing, interesting educational programs. Mm -hmm. There's some really nice sort of co-op galleries mm -hmm. that I'll be honest, I can't remember the name of, but sort of groups of artists. And so then the rotating shows, there's always something new to see in Old City specifically. Okay. Um, do you guys have any advice that you could give the LaSalle students that have to do with the museum? Maybe like the fact that it opens their minds more in education? Come to visit us. Um, we, a lot of students come through all different disciplines, whether it's foreign languages or philosophy, um, but I just like to remind students that you, you don't have to come with a group and you don't have to make an appointment. Just come and see us and you'll find all sorts of interesting things. Okay. Um. <laughs> It's worth noting that we have a lot of collection that's not always on display, so there's things often rotating in and out. One of my favorite parts of the museum is the hallway that leads into the 20th Century Gallery. Yeah. Um, because there's changing things, and often some of the items that are there are things out of our own collection, particularly prints, which we have a wonderful collection of th hundreds of prints. Okay. So that would actually lead me to our entire collection is now searchable online by the database. So connected to the website, you can see we have about 5,000 works of art, and you can see all of them online now, even the ones that aren't on view. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. I'd like to thank all of our guests for sharing their favorite pieces from the LaSalle University Art Museum. If you would like to see what the museum has to offer, pre please visit LaSalle's Art Museum. It's open to the public and free of charge, although donations are appreciated. You can find the hours and directions by visiting lasalle.edu slash museum or you can call 215-951-1221. Here at LaSalle, explorers are never lost and neither is our appreciation of art. Thank you again for watching and for exploring art.